Hi, good day, it's me again, JC, and welcome to Robot Show Tunes, my very own YouTube channel where I get to review Transformers toys, Voltus 5 toys, Macross or Robotech toys, Evangelion toys, and just whatever else I may fancy. And today's tune is extra special because it is Robot Show Tunes anniversary episode. And what better way to celebrate an anniversary than to review the crown jewel of my collection, the GX79 Soul of Chogokin Voltus 5 Full Action. Now for this and other way cool stuff, visit HobbyCorner.com. That's corner with a K. Now before anything else, let's take a look at the box. Here is the front, the back, one side, the other side, the top, and the bottom. So that's it for packaging. So, exactly what is it you get inside? With the main figure you get this instruction sheet, alternate jazz hands, alternate karate chop hands, one pair of weapon holding hands, and a second pair of weapon holding hands with a looser grip. Replace the default fists, just pull them off their ball joints and replace with desired hands. You get the Tenkuken or laser sword. When Voltus has his sword in hand, remove this red chest piece to complete the look. You get a pair of Gatling missile launchers, the Voltus Bazooka, which has this ball peg for the hand of your choice. And a pair of chain knuckles. You can actually make them shorter by removing this segmented middle part. To attach any of the last three weapons, use this tool to remove the wrist ball joints. and then attach these weapons to the now exposed socket. You get a pair of Chodenji strings, or ultra electromagnetic whips, swings, or strings. They've been called those three things in the Philippine dub. These actually go with the alternate hands with a looser grip. They don't fit well with the tighter gripped ones. And you get a pair of Chodenji Goma or Ultra Electromagnetic Tops. To attach the top to the whip, remove the bottom spike, peg the spike through the looped end, and reattach the top of the top. You get the Grandfire extension which can replace the default belt buckle. You get this display base that doubles as accessory storage and this triple hinge display arm. Each hinge can lock by sliding. You can attach the arm to the base's primary port here where it can turn 360 degrees. The display base has two secondary ports hidden by these stoppers. Here's one, and here's the other. You get this small attachment that connects the figure to the display arm, goes here. And this larger attachment, which acts as a slight extension if you want to position the figure higher or more forward, connects to the arm here, and then connects to the smaller extension here. The small attachment, whether it's on the extension or the actual display arm, it can turn 360 degrees. And the whole shebang attaches like so. And now that we've looked at the figure and his accessories, let's move on to... For articulation, head tilts this far up, 
this far down, this far side to side, and turns 360 degrees for the full in the blur. Arm extends this far out on a hinge, turns 360 degrees on a ball joint, butterflies this far back, and because of an extra hinge, this far forward. Shoulder shrugs this far up, biceps swivel 360 degrees, double hinged elbows get you up to there, hands tilt up, down, out, in, and turn 360 degrees. Panzer treads connect to the back on a double hinge. Chest is connected to the waist via double hinge and a ball joint. Gives you an insane ab crunch. A reverse. And 360 degree rotation. Waist is attached to the hips via a simpler single ball joint. So again, crunch. Reverse, side to side, and 360 degree rotation. Thighs swivel, 360 degrees. Legs are connected to the waist via a two hinge system. The first hinge is responsible for forward and backward motion, so Voltus can kick up to there, and up to back there. The second hinge is for side to side motion, and Voltus can kick to the side up to there. Double hinge knees get you up to there. Lander cockpits are connected to the back of the ankles by what I think are ball and socket joints. The feet are connected to the ankles via a ball joint and hinge combination. The hinge is responsible for forward and backward movement, and the ball joint for side to side and rotation. There's another hinge at the base of the foot inside, so you can point the feet up this far. And lastly, for even more articulation, you can pull the feet out this far. And that is it for articulation. Now let's see how he measures up. For size comparisons, here's GX79 Soul of Chogokin Voltus 5 full action with Action Toys Mini Deformed Voltus 5. Action Toys Mini Action Voltus 5. GX31 Soul of Chogokin Voltus 5. Takara Tomy's Transformers Masterpiece Trax. And with Funko Pop Death of the Endless, let's move on to thoughts that are final. All right, here are my final thoughts. Negatives first. The most obvious one is the absence of volting in and out capabilities. But then again, you don't buy a full action figure for transformation. The next is it is a different size from the GX31, which is a volting in and out figure. Um, now, it would have been nice to swap one for the other during play. I'm not sure. I can't really speak for them, but I think uh, this would have been something that stop-motion animation hobbyists would have appreciated. Uh, like they would animate the vault in sequence, then cut to the full action figure, which they'll use for dynamic posing. And then there's small discrepancies from the cartoon, like the elbow joints are metallic gray instead of red, and the yellow-orange panzer arms are absent from the back details. Actually, the back is not very detailed. Lastly, the display slash storage may be spacious, but it's not big enough for the whips. And there are holes in the base at, at the floor. I had to tape over those to prevent stuff from falling through them. You got a lot of positives though. You've got crazy plenty articulation, awesome colors, a gorgeous face sculpt, a faithful but at the same time modernly slender silhouette, and impressive heft. And I think those points more than make up for the absence of the combining gimmick, and that makes this toy a must-have for any serious Voltus 5 fan. Anyway, this has been Robot Showtoon's anniversary video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to this channel, and like Robot Showtunes on Facebook if it so please you. Now, I may be uploading a video update on where the channel stands right now after one year, year one, which will also serve as a teaser for year two. Or I may not. We'll see. Anywho, 
Thanks for sticking around this past year, and until next time, see you at the theater. Thank <laughs> you.